Hey everyone, Sean from WorldCupNow.com. Just wanted to come to you live and personally wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And, uh, you know, hopefully you have an excellent holidays with your family and enjoy. Uh, not too much. Make sure it's within reason, you know. But, uh, again, all the best. It's been an interesting year. I appreciate all of your advice, your comments, your questions, bouncing off theories of who's going to blow up this, you know, game week, who's going to get some points, and uh, who has easy fixtures that you can capitalize on. But again, thank you, and uh, all the best. So Merry Christmas to you and your family. Also, to the guys in my league, personally, I'd like to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to your families as well. And uh, hopefully we'll get together soon, and, uh, you know, we can uh, make fun of one another. Anyways, also, on a side note, could be a big side note, could be a little side note. Today is Thursday, December 2012. The whole uh, mind counter, extinction level events, you know, all these theories that are going on. If by chance that happens, it's been good knowing you. And yeah, it's been a good run. Anyways, yeah, I don't really believe in that because we're doing some prep work for this game week, which is coming up on the weekend. So let's get into it. I'm gonna flip the screen around and we'll get into some tips. Okay, so uh, getting back into game week 18 for uh, some of the tips. Um, as most managers know, if you don't know already, then hopefully you figure this out or see this prior to uh, this weekend. But uh, Fellaini was served a three-match ban for his headbutt against uh, Shawcross in the, the previous game week. So as you can see here, for transfers out this game week, 290,000 transfers out. Now. Looking at transfers in, uh, you can see the top three for midfielders are Yaya Toure, Sandy Carzola, and uh, Juan Mata. So those are three very good choices uh, for money-wise. So if you've got, uh, you know, if you want to keep the same money in terms of uh, expense, you don't want to lose money. But uh, you know, I think he's. I'm not too sure if he dropped in value already, but uh, I know Yaya Toure has gone up so it might be a little bit more expensive to get these guys uh, as it does change I think on a nightly basis but uh, those would be three options that you want to use if you had Fellaini in your lineup prior to this now also just want to look at some of the fixtures this week so easy fixtures you know um, one is going to be obviously Man City Reading there's already been a lot of transfers because of the Fellaini issue that I spoke about earlier and there's going to be a lot of people who are going to captain Tevez or Aguero or Silva just because they're going to be at home, they're facing a newly promoted team in Reading, so there's going to be an opportunity to capitalize in terms of points that way. Now, one that uh, might not be likely, but uh, is one of the later ones, is the Ch Chelsea, pardon me, Chelsea Aston Villa game. Uh, Chelsea had a really big smashing of leads, I think it was 5-1. But uh, it looked like everyone was performing very well. So you might want to take a look at some of your Chelsea players too and think about maybe captaining them. I know some people have been picking up Torres because he feels his, uh, they feel that his form is on. You know, I can agree with that. That's a good point. So, you know, if you don't have him or you're looking for different exposure to, uh, to have different players on your team that other managers don't have, then that would be one place that I would check. Now, reason being, is that not only are we having our you know traditional head-to-head -head and uh, tr you know the actual classic leagues going on, but uh, game week 18 starts the league cup. So you'll notice that uh, just underneath the you know global league information, you have your cup history. So you'll actually be able to click on. Now this is randomly selected, and I think it's only the top half of the actual um, player like managers that actually qualified for this so if you don't have this you probably haven't accumulated enough points throughout the first half of the season to actually you know have qualified but uh, you're able to click on this and this is something I kind of use you can go in you can scope out uh, you know your competitions last week you know it doesn't show you current but it'll show you what he had last week and uh, you can always look and see their total game week transfers, but that's always up for you know changing up until pretty much you know kickoff. 
But uh, you go and do a little reconnaissance, see who he has, uh, see what kind of team he has. He's only done three transfers in this case. My, you know, this what's his name, V1. So, anyways, you can get in there and you can take a look at their team, and uh, you know you can make some strategic moves. You know, you want to maybe match players uh, who might be good, or you might want to captain someone different. So there's different tactics that you can use in the game week cup. Um, but I always suggest, you know, checking out the team. But, uh, you know, I think priority for managers, though, is probably the classic leagues that you're already in. Um, you know, I had a good game week last week at 55 points, so a lot of green arrows going up. But that's, um, you know, wanted to keep the video short. In terms of players uh, to watch, like I said, um, those two easy fixtures coming up in game week 18 uh, for City, you may want to look at. Arsenal too, so maybe Santi uh, will be a good choice. Um, I think Tottenham is going to have a tough chance, well, you know, tough going with Stoke. Their D is just, you know, they're incredibly good at shutting people down and keeping low scores. So, um, you know, I think Bale might be back this week, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't be chancing on captaining them, but I think you'll probably get points out of Chelsea. United look like they have a relatively easy fixture in Swansea. So you might get some points out of Van Persie, but uh, the big one I would look for is probably Man City Reading. So again, look for players on that team. Uh, if you were transferring people in and out, I haven't made any changes to my team this week. Um, you know, I'm gonna save my transfers. I don't like paying for transfers, as you know, it's part of my tactic. But you can see my team is relatively the same, um, except you know I've got Hazard and Ivanovic on because they are actually playing this week. So again, best of luck to all the managers. Uh, again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas to everyone out there. And uh, if you watch this video after Christmas, then uh, you know, it's just timing. <laughs> Anyways, best of luck managers and we will see you next game week.